Hey everyone, welcome to Aftershoot. In today's video, we're going over AI assisted culling. This is a brand new culling mode within Aftershoot. If you used Aftershoot before and had used the automated culling, you're gonna notice that this version is a little bit more geared towards letting photographers have more control over the process. Now there is still AI taking place, but what it's going to do is help you in your manual review process as opposed to selecting images for you. To get started, you're gonna click on create a new album, click on start culling, and simply choose the files you'd like to import. Now, of course, if you're coming from a memory card, be sure to use the ingest and backup feature because that is an extremely important thing not to cull. And then I'm simply gonna click on start culling and I'm gonna choose AI assisted culling. Now, of course, within this screen, you have to still choose some preferences. The first one you need to decide is what genre this session is. And this is still important because we do have algorithms that work differently in different situations. So we wanna make sure that you choose the genre that fits the session accordingly. And the next thing you have to choose is how you want us to group your duplicate images. And this is the most important part of this process because this is where we determine how we put similar images together to make your job a little bit easier on that manual review. By choosing small groups, you're saying only cluster identical images together, the images in which nothing changes within. Now you'll notice there's four different duplicate group settings. The first one being small groups. These are just identical photos. Nothing is changing. You've snapped the shutter too many times in a row. It's gonna cluster those together for you. When you choose standard groups, you're saying you can tolerate some head and pose position changes, but you still want it to be somewhat similar. When you head into big groups, you're asking it to start clustering images in which body poses start changing and head poses are changing and the scene may change slightly. And when you get to large groups, you're saying that it's okay if the pose changes entirely. Once you've made those decisions, you can simply click on start culling. And before you get into the review process, if you don't love how the duplicate sets look, if you think there's too many images or too few images, you can always click on restart cull and it will just run a faster version to recluster the images for you. So now that our AI assisted cull has completed, you can notice that things are a little bit different than they would be in the automated cull. You're going to see that we've done a couple of things for you, such as pulling out the key faces and clustering the similar images, but we actually haven't ranked any images. There's no blurred category. There's no selected category. It's simply just the images and some information for you to speed up your manual reviewing process. So in the screen, in the grid view, all of my keyboard shortcuts remain the same. So I can use the period and comma key to cycle through all the similar images. So you'll notice that there's a plus five in the upper left hand corner of the photo. It's letting me know that there's five additional photos. It pulled out the key face for me. It marked it as open eyes and that it is a sharp photo. And you'll see just below that is the five duplicate photos that I can also review if I'd like to. And now it's up to me, the photographer, to decide how I want to rank these photos. So I can choose to either use keyboard shortcuts or I can use the My Selections tool by simply clicking the letter D or this circle here. Or I could use the keyboard shortcut A to add it to the selected filter, which for me is five star and green. What this means is that now I have a really easy manual process in which I have a lot of really great tools to help me with the heavy lifting. I can use this in the grid view or by hitting enter, I can now view it in loop mode. And as you can see in the loop view mode, we now added the key face icons on the image as well. So not only is the key face in and of itself letting me know that it is green for in focus and open eyes, but the image on the face actually has that marking as well. And this is gonna help me speed up my manual review process. Instead of reviewing the images one by one and zooming in and zooming out, I'm simply going to use the key face feature to determine if images are in focus and select the ones I want to keep out of every set. Another great review screen that you have in this manual process is your survey mode. By entering survey mode, now all of the images within the duplicate set will display on my screen. I can simply click on the my selection and add it to my favorite photos or again I can use those keyboard shortcuts to mark my favorite photos from within there as well. Now another great tool available to you is your spray can mode. So by simply clicking on the spray can, I can now decide if I want to have five star and green as my selected images, or I can use the My Selections filter, and I can simply click on all the photos that I'd like to keep. And once I click on them, they're now marked as a selection. So now my review process has sped up even greater because not only do I have key faces, I have 
identifications if a face is in focus or has open eyes. But on top of all of that, I have all these great views and spray can mode to speed up the entire process. Now, of course, when I finished my entire culling process, I can simply save changes and export as I normally would, or I can simply go to the grid view, select all of the images that I'd like to see, or I can simply go to the grid view, filter by the images that I want, simply select all and drag and drop them right into my editing software. If you want to learn more about how to export your photos out of Aftershoot, you can absolutely check out our video on exporting. Or if you want to simply learn how Aftershoot can speed up your workflow, be sure to check out some of our other videos. Thanks for watching.